So to really understand KMS, we need to understand what a customer master key is because this is the primary resource that KMS is managing. Uh, and to start there, let's talk about what encryption is. So encryption is the process of encoding a message or information in such a way that only authorized parties can access it and those who are not authorized cannot, okay? Uh, pretty basic. Uh, and so that leads us to what are cryptographic keys or data keys. So a data key is just a string of data that is used to lock or unlock cryptographic functions. So a cryptographic function could be authentication, authorization, or encryption. Uh, and so that leads us on to what is a master key. So a master key is stored in a, a secured hardware, so an HSM, and master keys are used to encrypt all other keys on the system. Uh, and those other keys are to, uh, being data keys. Um, and so why would we want to use a key to encrypt another key, which is called envelope encryption? Well, the reason why, and here's, an, here's a diagram of uh, envelope encryption, is how do you know that the keys, the data keys that you use that unlock the data to your database are secure? Uh, and that's where um, these master keys come into play. So the idea is that they um, uh, create security around those keys. So to learn a little bit more about customer master keys, um, a customer master key is the primary resource that AWS KMS is managing. And a customer master key, abbreviated as CMK, is a logical representation of a master key. So you're not directly accessing the master key. Uh, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, a logical representation. But with that logical representation, we get to attach a lot of uh, metadata that's going to help us understand uh, things about our master key. So the key ID, when it was created, the creation date, we can give it a description and say what state the key is in. Uh, and that CMK is going to also contain key material used to encrypt and decrypt data. And so KMS supports both symmetric and asymmetric CMKs. So if you've never heard of symmetric and asymmetric, I'll give you a couple examples. So sym uh, symmetric, a symmetric key is generally a 256-bit key that is used for encryption and decryption. So you have a single key that you're using, and an example of this on AWS would be when you encrypt an S3 bucket, it uses something called AES-256. 256, 256 uh, uh, suggests that it's using 256-bit encryption. AES is the um, protocol for encryption. Um, and so that is that method. And the other method is asymmetric key. And so this would be where you have an RSA key pair that is used for encryption and decryption or signing and verification, but not both. Um, and the idea here is that you have two keys. Uh, so a great example of this is with EC2 key pairs, you have a public key and a private key. Now KMS isn't using, uh, when, you're when you're downloading uh, EC2 key pairs, I don't think that they're using KMS, or at least if they are, it's probably uh, managed by AWS and it's transparent to you. Um, but the idea of having these two methods of keys is based on the use case. Um, but from a security perspective, if you have to have two keys, one key to match to another, that is technically more secure. Uh, whereas if you have one key, if that one key is lost, then you know uh, it is is less secure. Okay, uh, so that's customer master keys.